I started the violin when I was in fifth grade, so it's been eight or nine years now. I really enjoy music. I can't imagine my life without music. So I really wanted to find ways to keep involved with music. Remember, we're kind of punching the notes here, so it's... I definitely use a lot of the techniques my teachers used with me when I'm teaching Quinn. Um, a lot of the finger exercises, the bow control, Musical Empowerment is a student-run program of UNC where we take kids from the Chapel Hill Carpool area and we pair them up with um, UNC students and the UNC students actually give the children one-on-one um, -on -one musical instruction. We have about 58 kids and then about 58 teachers. Very nice. The lessons are weekly lessons um, and they're about 40 minutes long. Most of the students are things like uh, piano or guitar, though we do have a good number of um, violinists, we do have some voice. Let the sky fall. Private lessons just in general for a kid from any background is a big investment for families. I know from my own background myself and they can cost anywhere from $20 an hour to $100 an hour. We sing hi to them. She, she, Enjoying it, yes, you really enjoy it. There's a wonderful opportunity for her, you know, to learn a new method and all the kind of stuff that I can really teach her. So it's really wonderful, you know, great, great opportunity. I think it's a really cool program just because, you know, we're kind of passing on what we enjoy and for kids who might not otherwise be able to do the lessons. There's also an instrument lending component. With grant money, we've purchased instruments and then we lend them out to our students. For those kids and parents who can't afford to purchase a clarinet or a flute or a violin, to actually give them the, perhaps the greatest barrier besides having the lesson is actually the instrument to take home with them. We've always talked about the arts having an impact, not in trying to create the next Yo-Yo Ma or the next Barishnikov, but in actually creating better human beings. Through the commitment to an instrument and commitment of time and, and practice, we are teaching these kids lifelong skills that will serve them in any field that they choose to work in. Skills in, in discipline, in, in perseverance, in commitment, in character, in self-esteem. It's really nice to think that I'm making a difference for at least one student, that she's starting to feel better and better even around the kids who've been playing all their life and she's getting more confidence. And we won't do the repeat for now. Every Monday when I have my 40 minute lesson, I see what a difference it's making in her lives. And I just remember, you know, for the, you know, 50, 60 other kids, it's, it's doing the same thing.